50. Watching a movie with your mom is time well spent. So here with a roundup of the best movies to watch this Mother's Day is pop culture expert Kathleen Newman Bremen. Limited time only. Limited only for time you. only. Thank you. <laughs> so let's get into it. You uh, sort of given us a list of movies yes. that we want to sit down and watch with mom. We're starting with a hilarious sequel. What's that? Yes, it is Book Club 2, the next chapter. Oh. So you could do a double header. You could watch Book Club at home and then take your mom to the movies and watch Book Club 2, the next chapter. Love that. The entire cast is back, so you've got a stat cast. Jane Fonda, Diane Keaton, Mary Steenburgen, Candace Bergen, everybody's Ooh. back. So in the first one we know, they got together four friends for a book club. It got a little steamy because they read Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> that happens when you read Fifty Shades of Grey. Yep. And now one of them is engaged and okay. they're going to Italy for a bachelorette. And I just love this. I love that the first one was such a shock to everyone. Women in their 70s, the entire cast is in their 70s. Jane Fonda is 85. Wow. Still killing it. You know, this kind of dispels the Hollywood myth that women over 40 have lives. Yes. You know, what a concept. What a concept. And it's just a great, like, date night to take to your mom, take your mom to the movies on Mother's Day. Give me all of the 60-plus actors, yes. please. And I want to see them living and thriving. I Finally. love it. Finally. Finally. All of it. Okay, your next film uh, stars Tiana Taylor. <laughs> My love, tell me about it. Yeah, I also love Tiana Taylor. Yeah. I got to interview her for this. It's wow. called 1001. She is, so you might know Tiana Taylor as a singer. You yeah. might know her as one half of a celebrity couple. She's married to former NBA star Iman Shumpert. Mm -hmm. You might know her as a mother of two beautiful daughters, a reality TV star. After you watch 1001, you are going to know her as a movie star. Capital M, capital wow. S. She is incredible in this. So this is from writer-director A.B. Rockwell, also a black woman. And it is set in Harlem, and it is about a single mother in Harlem who takes her son back from the foster care system, not in the most legal way, mm -hmm. and it, is, it follows them through a decade of them uh, navigating their complicated relationship uh, through Harlem in this time that really doesn't exist anymore, pre-gentrification. Yeah. It is such a small, beautiful story, and Tiana, I cannot stress this enough, she is incredible and so, so beautiful. I cannot recommend this movie enough. Oh my gosh, I have to watch this. You it's already to. giving me shivers. It. And I'm sure like her being a mom has informed this role. Absolutely. So much. Absolutely. This idea and her of a being piece of your Harlem. body. And her being from Harlem. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm up for that. Next up, a major throwback back that is bringing laughs and drama. What are we I'm talking about? All the way back to 1998 for this one. Okay. It is Stepmom. Oh, I yes. was talking backstage <laughs> and some people hadn't seen Stepmom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's seen Stepmom, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Okay, it is streaming on Netflix and I know that because I uh, stop and watch it anytime I scroll through. Yeah. And I have a little cry. So it stars Julia Roberts, uh -huh. Susan Sarandon, Ed Harris. And you know, I like to mention when there's a handsome man. Yes. Anything I recommend. Ed Harris. Yes. She's looking great in this movie. Yes. Um, so it is about Julia Roberts. She's a young photographer, and she meets her older boyfriend's kids, and then it gets a little messy, and their allegiance to their mom, Jackie, played by Susan Sarandon, is very clear. Um, it is a beautiful story about grief and loss, but it's also funny and heartwarming, and it's going to make you want to hug your mom a little Aww. tighter this Mother's Day. Yeah, being a stepmom can be really challenging, so that's, yeah, that's a lovely one to go back I to. I also like that it's about motherhood in all of its forms. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about an amazing film that won numerous awards this year. I almost I mean, don't like, I mean, if I were to throw that out there, they'd probably guess the title, but which one are we talking about? <laughs> it won all <laughs> of the awards. All of them. It is Everything Everywhere All at Once. Yes. Of course. Yeah. It's just this weird spectacle of a film that is about like multiverses and taxes, but at its center, it is about a daughter of an immigrant mother looking for love and looking to break the generational trauma. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful story to watch on Mother's Day. You might have, like, your mom might be like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Now, your next flick is, one, is a drama that celebrates motherhood and black Southern culture. Yes. It's called Miss Juneteenth. Yeah. So this came out in 2020. Mm -hmm. I've been yelling about this movie since 2020, and I feel like it's getting slept on, and yeah. I will not, not on my watch. Tracy. I'm one of the sleepers. I'm sorry, I haven't seen you it haven't yet. You haven't seen it yet? Okay, so tell well, me about hey, it Mother's again. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it stars Nicole Bahari, who mm -hmm. I think is one of our greatest living actresses. She plays Turquoise Jones, 
And she won the Miss Juneteenth pageant when she was 15. It comes with a scholarship to go to college, but she didn't go because she got pregnant. And now her daughter, Kai, is about to turn 15. Mm -hmm. And so she's trying to live vicariously through her, get her to win the Miss Juneteenth pageant and kind of live all the dreams she never had. So it is about failed dreams, the expectations parents put on their kids, yeah. and kind of what happens when those intersect, and it's heartbreaking and hard, but it's also this really beautiful expo exploration of black girlhood mm. and young motherhood, things that we don't really get to see in motherhood stories um, on film often. It's so, so good. It's also directed by a black woman, Channing Godfrey Peoples. It's so good. I, I'm going to yell about this movie. I'm so mad that it kind of... Well, Slip came through out, the cracks yeah, it came a bit. out in 2020, and, and yeah. people didn't talk about it enough. Yeah, but you're here as the representative. Yes, so every year, yes, we'll just talk about Miss Juneteenth, <laughs> and I will watch it. Can be. It's so good to have you in studio with 